within the next couple of years, what will models be able to do that they're not able to do today? It will be sort of white collar, uh, you know, re- replacement at a much deeper level, AI scientist, uh, human, humanoids. Um, I mean, a, a, a lot of things, but you touched on the one that I am most excited about, which is the, the AI scientist. This is crazy that we're sitting here seriously talking about this. The I know there's like a quibble on what the Turing test literally is, but but the popular conception of the Turing test sort of went whooshing by. You know, it was just like we talked about it as this <laughs> most important test of AI for a long time. It seemed impossibly far away. Then all of a sudden it was passed. The world freaked out for like a week, two weeks. And then it's like, all right, I guess computers like can do that now. Yeah. And I think that's happening again with science. I see these things on Twitter. It did this, it made this novel math discovery and did this small thing in my, you know, my physics research, my biology research. And everything we see is that that's going to go much further. So in two years, I think the models will be doing bigger chunks of science and making important discoveries. And that is a crazy thing. Like that will have a significant impact on the world. I am, I am a believer that to a first order, scientific progress is what makes the world better over time. And if we're about to have a lot more of that, that's a big change.